All right, putting collars on for graduation is fairly simple. First thing you want to do is take this little sticky tab off the collar. I would recommend sewing these if you possibly can rather than pinning, but I'm going to demonstrate a couple different ways to do it. Uh, the first thing you have to do is make sure that your collar is going to be even. So what I do is I line up my two seams and I place a pin or a piece of tape or a piece of chalk where the center of the back is. Then I do the same thing with the collar and if you'll notice I have nice stitching on this side. The other side there's double stitching. We don't want that. We want the nice side. And again I'm going to find out where my center is and I'm just going to put a pin or a piece of chalk or a piece of tape. All right, once you have that done, we're going to put the collar just inside the gown, and I'm going to pin it like this. And once we get it all pinned, we're going to check to make sure that the whole thing is going to be even. So I'm going to line it up like this so I can't see the edge of the collar. My pins are going this direction so that I can sew over them. This can also be done by hand. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it by machine, but it also can be done by hand. We're going to pin the whole thing, and then we're going to check to make sure it looks even in the front. That's what we want. We want our collar to look straight and even in the front. And there are a couple ways to adjust it, which I will show you in just a minute. I'm going to flip it around this way and finish pinning. Like this. Now you can stitch this in either white or black. The collar will cover it so you won't really see it. And again, stitching really works the best, in my opinion, after having done thousands of these in the last 24 years. I think that kind of makes me the expert on this. All right, let's pin this one. And then I'm going to flip it around to the front and see if that looks even. All right, what I want to do is I want to match up my seams. This one needs to go up just a little tiny bit. So we have our collar even. The next step is to actually stitch the collar to the garment. And as you can see, I don't come all the way down because when I flip this over, I don't want my stitches to show. So I've stitched this together. I'm going to tie my knots on here so this doesn't come out like this. I'm going to pull the pins out and I'll flip it over to the front and show you what the collar is supposed to look like. Again, you can do this by hand where you just come in with a couple little whip stitches along the edge there. It does not have to be done by machine. I'm going to take this pin out. I'm going to flip this over and pin it like that. Okay, we're going to tie down our other side. These just have to stay on for the ceremony, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be real straight. Again, you're not going to see most of it. All right, let's get the other pin in here. Flip it around. Let's see how it's going to look. Again, we want to make sure that it's going to be even. All right, this is what we're shooting for. The next thing I would do is just take a hand needle and sew two stitches through the collar, two stitches over here, and then it can be sewn to the lining here. I've stitched two stitches through here, and if you look at the back, <clears throat> I've just done a couple little hand stitches to the lining. You don't want it to go all the way through where it shows. You've got two layers of fabric. You just stitch it to the lining and zip it up and you are done. These cannot be pressed. Uh, they will melt. The best suggestion is to take them out of the package, hang them up in the bathroom after someone's had a shower or a bath where it's real steamy and let, let it hang out. All right, now I'm going to show you one with uh, using just pins. If you don't have somebody to sew all of this on, the other thing you can do is to just get a bunch of safety pins. And instead of using our straight pins, you can pin the whole thing on using safety pins. It's not as comfortable on your neck. You could also put these on the outside if you prefer. You can pin it like so. And then 
when it comes around to this part here, again, we're going to flip it over like that, put a pin on the back. and then use a piece of tape to tape the underside down. If you have absolutely no pins whatsoever, you can pin the whole thing with masking tape. I don't recommend it. I would do it as a last resort because it does not stay very well. But you could theoretically tape the whole collar to the inside like that and it would hold for graduation. All right, please be aware when you come to graduation, if this is not on, we have to do it for you that day. And we're kind of under the gun to get everything done accordingly. Also, if we have any senior boys who do not have the proper clothes, which is a white button down dress shirt, dark ties, pants and shoes, please come down to DO8 and see me. Hope this video helped you out. Thank you to Mackenzie and to uh, Mr. Kuiper for putting this together.